uh, until CJ starts to force the issue by grouping up, at which point it will be up to the Tigers to see how well they can close onto the back line of CJ Entis. Well, let's find out in game number two. He's gonna catch Prey, a nice burst by Coco. Prey has to go out, but there's a double pulverize and the jump in from Coco first blood and Gorilla, he just stays himself in the middle of everything. A double kill for Coco. Smeb already finishes the teleport. The equalizer only gonna slow down Matt Life. Or no, not Matt Life. Sword chooses hitting his power spike now. Oh, but a nice effort to find onto Coco to turn things around. Kuro is hiding right to the side alongside Hojin. We're trying to siege this mid or go for the Dragon. Dragon is available. Hojin gets caught and he's the only one. Stays his by Gorilla, but he's going to be able to body slam out for now. Coco charging forward. There's a nice magical journey. They're too scared to follow through. And the Sand Soldier right at the entrance, too. Very well done by the Koo Tigers. Now CJ and just looking for this Dragon. Ambition's a little low. Needs to watch out for the poke coming in from the Sand Soldiers. Nice burst by Coco, and there is that first survive backwards onto Coco. Coco gets body slammed. The Equalizer, not enough. Brave dancing out of it. He's not gonna die just yet. A shy looking for another kill. He's gonna flash over, he's gonna find Gorilla and just roast Bard. Meanwhile, Hojin, he made the escape earlier, but he couldn't get out of it. Coco not hitting. Oh, there's a big one though onto Kuro and Space just looking for it. And a three man Stace is coming in from Gorilla. Kuro is taking so much both. And there's the explosive cast. But then the Emperor's Divide outside of Tower Range. Kuro just trying to keep himself safe and poke from afar. Coco takes a lot of damage, but meanwhile, Space takes one kill. He flashes out away and he gets the poke and the snipe down onto Kuro. Hojin takes a lot of damage and the Mystic Shot. And Space goes forward and he's. Oh, he's going to get the shutdown. But Coco picks up the kill against Prey. Prey just being satisfied with the shutdown gold onto space as Hojin with the body slam keeps Smeb safe. Coco still alive and that means they could, oh there's another poke, just a headbutt out. They can't go for the tower just yet though, the wave has been cleared. But that's a person have to, Dragon has started speed trying over to the Tigers. Yeah, and Coco just poking it down with him, there's absolute zero and oh we're gonna see Hojin pick that one up, space has been frozen, two shot barrage doesn't hit and Smeb can't, oh there we go, the Mega Nar comes in, a two man ultimate, Gorilla Magical journey to the side to try to catch stragglers or a flank here. He's not going to get the stun though, and now he doesn't have a way out. His prey just tries to help his teammate from over the wall, and maybe that buys Gorilla enough time. No, he's going to get sniped out by Coco. Oh, certainly falls alongside. Oh wow. Oh, but he's in danger. His once accuracy. Again. Oh, and there's the temper fate coming in, but there's a headbutt out. He's just trying to see if Hojin. Hojin will get out. The equalizer goes down. Kuro takes a lot of damage. Prey steps out of it. Kuro picks up the kill, and Gorilla just blocking the poke. They're so for his low, teammate. though. Smab. Going to turn to Meganar, and Kuro has that Emperor's Divide, so they could set something crazy up as Kuro goes in and pushes everyone behind his tower, and then he goes into Zonia Stasis with the absolute zero charge for full duration. There's a Blade of the Ruin King onto Smab. Space should be able to pick up that kill eventually as Hojin comes in. There's a Body Slam flash away from Space, but Prey is here. Full damage and a magical journey all the way through as he uh. finds Rockets on the other side. Meanwhile, Mad Life does go down to Prey, and with Prey turning to the side, Space has to back out. He can't continue poking down that Bard. And look at this, too. They're going to try. Uh, I mean, this is just a poke bar, and it's going to be Hojin who secures it with the smite. Oh, and there is a temper fate. Oh, but the absolute zero coming in to try to deny it. Empress divide, but the equalizer onto Kuro. Can Kuro get out of it? The only one near him is Mad Life, and Kuro will jump out with the Sand Soldier stun onto Alistair Space, getting free damage from the side. Smeb in the midst of everything, but a nice headbutt from Mad Life is going to keep himself alive as Prey can't find the kill with the Essence Flux and Space charges force with the Valkyrie. Prey still alive. Coco. One more poke and he gets one onto Kuro. They can't follow the magical journey this time around, but oh, never mind. The damage coming in, but two more members as a double kill goes to Coco. Space at full health gets the shutdown. He's chasing down this poor Nar and one more auto, another double for Space, and that is a four man kill against the Koo Tigers. But can they actually get anything out of it? Again, the dragon goes over to the Tiger Space. Yeah, here we see with that Iceborne Gauntlet and the barrels coming in. And Space almost gets caught by Kuro, and there's the Summer to heal. He's trying to dodge out, but there's the Saints is coming in. Ambition's trying to set out, oh, but he gets denied by the Emperor's Divide. Now Space still running away, but a nice cutoff from Gorilla as he marches in on the flank. And the magical journey in, everybody getting out of that one as Gorilla walks right into Coco. Kuro comes in, there's the exhaust. Prey is doing free damage. Equalizer will stop the fight for now from Shy. He doesn't get the second harpoon, but there's the Shock Bless onto Prey. The Koon Tigers do. Do hold off though. Yeah, and they trade two for one. This Baron is not a good one. It started trying to put some poke down on the flanks and 
can get poked out by Kuro a little bit as the Ludens Echo comes out. Ambition is the only one left, but here comes the Temper Bay. It's not going to hit. Smep comes in. Meanwhile, the Dragon goes over the Tigers, and Smep zoning out the entire team of CJN just all on his own. And he's going to get slowed down by Shy for now, but there's the Explosive Cast backward onto Coco. He's the only one who took the damage, but there's the Barrel Slow and the Empress Divide. They all go in in a three man ultimate from Smep. The Equalizer is going to keep Kuro on lockdown as Kuro does go down. Shy trying to put out some damage. He flashes forward in space. Now it has free reign, but can Shy be taken down? He's not going to get hit by the stun from Smep. Meanwhile, Space picks up a kill, and now he's going to chase forward. Space has been left all alone throughout this fight, and Mad Life finishes off. The last kill as Gorilla barely escapes with his life. What a great team. Keep people zoned and not allow them to go back. He's not getting caught though. Embrace is going to get burned down and there's a Zonia. Space goes forward with the summer to heal. Ambition gets a slow on to pray with the no end of damage, but the two man knock up from the Pulverize. Emperor's Divide not enough as Space shows up from the side with the Valkyrie. He's going to magical journey all the way through to get a better angle on to pray and he gets it. He flashes forward. He gets the poke with the rocket. Picks up the kill. Coco charging forward. Gets finally slowed down by Hojin, but what a beautiful setup from CJ Antis. And look at that. He's going to teleport into the top side as well, just holding onto that minion wave. Baron Buff immediately hits all the minions. This should be the momentum they need to win this game. Both carries are down for the Koo Tigers, and they're just going to push this one straight through. Wow, CJ pulling through despite some rocky starts. And the Explosive Cast is trying to buy time, but still 30 seconds left for teammates to join the Tigers. So that's going to be it. And there's the Tempered Fate, though. It's going to buy quite a bit of time. Space is going to get a kill. Meanwhile, gets the second turret. And that will be the Nexus going down in favor of CJ Antis. You really have to admire Space's positioning in wow, those team fights yeah. on Corky because he really pulled it out for CJ in the end. Uh, the Tigers simply couldn't find him alongside some of their other players with their big CC. And so he was able to escape and get a lot of damage down relative